As our nation works to put astronauts back on the moon, teams of scientists here in Utah are helping to make that possible. Yeah, you see it right here. Today they tested the rockets for an escape pod as a crowd of people watched for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. New specialist Mike Anderson, well, he was there too. Yeah, the hope is that they'll actually never have to use this system as it's designed to get astronauts away from danger if something goes wrong during the launch. But today, everything went as planned, and it was a spectacle. I'm doing a project for my class. If there's ever a reason to miss school. Oh, I'm so excited. This might be it. Sammy Sampson. This is my first rocket launch, and I'm fascinated by the space field, so this is a great opportunity for me. That few seconds up the hill are huge. My son told me that it's going to be only a four second one and the flames should shoot about 30 feet in the air. That's what he told me. Shauna and Jerry Draper drove an hour and a half to be here and support their adult kid who happens to be a rocket scientist and told them all about it. It is to rip the space capsule off the top of the world's most powerful rocket in mid-flight and take the astronauts to a safe distance. And it's that kind of power Two, one. that makes the ground shake. 400,000 pounds of thrust designed to get astronauts safely away if something goes wrong during launch. You know, it's a little tough for us because this is hopefully the only time we get to see it operate. We don't hope to see it operate during flight, right? Because that means we've had a bad day. Something the scientists and engineers hope <laughs> they'll never use. <laughs> cool. But today, it leaves a big impression. Dang. Absolutely. It was like a marvel of its own. It's something that I feel like everyone should at least see once in their life. One of these test rocket launch or an actual launch. Big enough to make parents proud. It's Absolutely. Um, we, we brag. He, he, <laughs> he's one of very many people working on this, so. And maybe even inspire the next generation. Absolutely. It's my dream to work in a space company and help further that progression of humankind. And engineers still have a lot of data to pour over, but for now it appears everything went as planned. For now, the next manned mission to the moon very tentatively set for 2025.